Alright guys, I'm back with another video here. Uh, I just want to show you my, uh, the, the gear that I brought with me to, uh, to the Catalina trip. So this is just basically like a follow-up, uh, post, uh, backpacking trip trying to show, uh, the gear that I use and kind of how it worked out for me. So I'm just gonna, uh, just go straight into it, alright? Yeah, I'm just gonna start with the stuff outside of the pack, telling the pockets and stuff. So this let me get the focus. Alright, this here is my uh seat of summit pillow. I put in uh I put in this uh Cuban fiber stuff sack just for now. Before I had the bag for it, but uh ended up ripping. So I'm using that temporarily for now, but and this is the uh, see the summit pill weighs about say about three ounces. Really nice and comfortable. It's nice and soft. And very easy to use. And when I use it, I just uh, I just like I don't fully inflate. I just like I'll kind of like a inflate about maybe a quarter, maybe a little less than half, and that should be worth for me. It works well for me in, in a hammock. Okay, there's that. I also brought this, uh, kind of like this windbreaker jacket. Bought this a long time ago at Sportschule. Uh, I can't even remember the name of the brand. I think it's, uh, what is it? Uh, CR design. Say, so, uh, let me get this in focus. There it goes. It's a uh, CR design small uh, windbreaker jacket. Weighs a couple ounces, so it's pretty nice and light. I didn't use it on the trip just because it's a uh, it's pretty hot. But uh, I think I used it. Wait, actually, I think I used it once. Uh, at night when it got a little cool, but at the most part, it was pretty hot yeah, the whole entire trip, so I didn't get to use it that much, but uh, this been I've been using this for years. Uh, got a hole on it here. I fixed it with duct tape. It will focus. There it goes. Yeah, there it goes. See? I was building a fire, and I think on a camping trip or something like a backpack trip and uh, and getting a hole in this thing, a pretty big hole, so I just fixed it with duct tape. And still been using it like that for quite a while now, so next. I brought gloves. Uh, on a backpacking trip I guess it might not be necessarily might be uh, one hundred percent necessary but I bring them just because for like uh, when I'm like building a fire I like to use gloves to uh, kind of like carry carry the wood and stuff. I don't want to like get splinters. This kind of like protect my hands. Uh, I don't know what brand this. Is. I got this at Harbor Freight. It was like a couple bucks. So it's like leather. So I think it's leather mixed with uh, like nylon stuff like that. I've been using it. It's kind of like a recent purchase, but I've been using it for a few trips, and they seem to be work. They work out well for me. I use it to like pick up. Uh, Pots like one of my uh, cooking, my cooking pot, my snows, my uh, snow peak pot, or a cup to pick it up when it's hot. So, and building fires mostly for that. Next, Next is my uh, this is my uh, water water filter. It's a Sawyer squeeze. Uh, I put in I keep in the Ziploc bag, and I, it's also I have I also have the uh, platypus bag also in here. It's a two liter. Works so good. Here's the Sawyer squeeze. Works okay for me so far. Weighs like what three ounces, two ounces, pretty light. And uh, this is just like a a bottle that I cut the bottle 
bottom piece of, uh, of a bottle that I cut off for like scooping uh, from like little uh, puddles and stuff like that for uh, to uh, filter water with. It makes it easier. Okay. Let me go through the next item. I had maps with me too that uh, when I checked in they gave me, when I checked in at Catalina they just gave me some maps so I brought that along too. And just some maps. It's not too detailed but it gives you an idea of like kind of like the trails around in the area. Like the, this is a map of the campground. And what is this right here? This is, that was just paperwork. Receipts and stuff. We'll never get onto the next thing. This is just a, a little Ziploc bag of. Uh, let's just get that to focus. Uh, there else. So, this is just a little Ziploc bag of uh, cotton. Cotton balls and uh, soak the uh, uh, Vaseline. Use this to get a fire going uh, when I'm in a rush or anything. And they come in handy once. I don't use it all the time, but when I do, it's it's really helpful. To get a fire going real fast. If you just need one fire real, really quick, this helps out a lot. Okay, I'm going to my hip hip belt pockets. In my hip belt pockets, I carry, on my uh, right hip belt pocket, I carry a first aid kit. You know, just a simple kit. We use uh, announce ounces, just miscellaneous stuff in here. Uh, waterproof fire, well, I have some water purification tablets, gauze, uh, ointments, uh, bandages, ibuprofen. Anti-diarrheal, Tylenol, just basic stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Next thing, some sunscreen. Just like a tube of that. It's I find it to be lighter than the uh, like the like the lotion type, squeeze bottle type, and I think it lasts a little bit longer too. So I've been using this for a few months already, and still got a bunch left so and it's pretty lightweight so I bring that uh, this is a cone so that focus. Yeah, this is a cone for my flashlight I'll show you after after this uh, it's, it's a cone for my uh, a diffuser cone for my uh, night core flashlight that I bring along and it, it just helps with uh, it's kind of like diffusing the light at night time just Using it sort of like a, a lantern instead of a flashlight. It weighs like what weigh less than an ounce, so I carry it. Here's my uh, Nikkor flashlight. It's an M MH2C. It weighs about three ounces. It's what, like 700, 800 lumen flashlight, pretty bright. Um, I use it for like mostly uh, uh, when I'm hiking at nighttime. I think it's much better than the headlamp. The headlamp, just my headlamp is just not good enough when I'm hiking at night to see kind of like the details of, of like the of the terrain and things like that, like rocks and stuff. So I find that this to be much more helpful uh, when hiking on a trail at night. It's a Nikkor, Nikkor MH2C. You can uh, charge it with this, this port right here. Charge it with this port right here, and it uh, works out pretty well. It seals pretty well. There's an O-ring right there, O-ring up here too, so it's pretty waterproof. I don't remember the rating, but I had this for like a few years already, so. I've I forgot all the like the specs, but you can look it up online. It's the Nikkor MH2C. You can charge it with via USB. Power button. 
right here. And my here's my uh, headlamp. It's a Princeton Tech Remax. Weighs what three ounces or so? Maybe I think less than three ounces. Two ounces, two point five ounces, something like that. It's uh, it's good for around the camp. I think around the camp usage. Uh, when I'm hiking on the trail, it's uh, I guess it's not it's not bright enough. If I use the highest setting. The battery just kind of burns out pretty quickly, but so I just end up using my flashlight for mostly on the trail. And this one's more for like a more like a backup light around camp kind of light, you know, in my uh, hammock in the tent. So I bring that. So my this can be on my other pocket, side pocket, pocket, belt pocket. Carry. This is basically like a ring cover for my pack. It's from an old pack, old backpack I had. I just took it from that. I don't really use that pack anymore, so I used, I used this. I just took it. I took it from that pack. And, uh, and I haven't get, to, I haven't gotten to use it that much. I think I used it once, maybe twice. Well, because I live in California and we're in drought, so not much rain here. So I just bring it just as a backup, just in case. You never know. But there it is. I also brought some snacks too, so I have some leftover snacks, so I just, it's been sitting there for a while. This is one of them, it's just a, like a peanut butter cheddar cap cracker. And this is a Slim Jim beef jerky. I think I'm pretty much done with all the packs on the outside. Yeah, they're yeah. going to the, going actually into the pack now. That's from the top. Uh, my sleeping bag that I use. It's a... It's a Scorpion. 45 degree. Uh, I bought it on Amazon like a few years back. I don't know, three, four years back. So, uh, I've been using... I use this as a summer bag. It weighs a pound, 11 ounces, something like that. Less than two pounds for sure. And it works well for summer. The funny thing is that my... Uh, this is a synthetic bag, and uh, I also have a, a top quilt for the winter. And my top quilt is ready to 20 degrees and actually weighs less than this. So I actually have to carry a heavier bag for my uh, uh, my summer trip. But it, it's it's more comfortable, definitely. My 20 degree bag, bring it during the summertime, it's just way too hot. And i rather carry a little extra weight, you know, for the summertime. But I think I might upgrade sooner or later to a, a down a down uh, a down quilt or a down bag f for my uh, f summer usage something like a 50 degree or something like that or stay 50 60 degrees should work out pretty well um, so next this is my uh, kind of like a sort of like a cooking kit just for like condiments, I have a snow peak plate in here, uh, windscreen, some napkins, uh, oil, my spoon. So I'm gonna just take it out one by one. So here's my spoon. It's a cedar summit spoon, aluminum. It's a long one, so you get to like dig in. I got it. I specifically got the long one so I could dig into like uh, uh, the backpacking food stuff, food packaging. They go kind of, they're kind of deep, so this kind of helps out. And I, I put a, I could use a ShamWow um, uh, on top of it, this ShamWow napkin, ShamWow towel on top of it, and a rubber band just to kind of keep it in place. Good for cleaning up afterwards. So just, so that's it. Here's the windscreen. It's aluminum foil windscreen. Nothing special. Just for, for those windy days. Helps with the, the cooking time. This is the, uh, the condiment. So condiments: mustard, salt, sugar, tartar sauce, mayonnaise, hot sauce, sriracha, salt, pepper, 
napkins. Pretty much everything that I could pick up like at uh, fast food joints, restaurants. Whenever I had a chance, I just pick it up and add to it. A little pad to clean or cleaning up afterwards. This is a uh, oil cooking oil. Uh, I think it's I think it's either olive oil or grapeseed oil. Don't can't remember exactly what I put in here. It's been a while, but yeah, I I don't really use much. I use a little bit here and there. I've been using it for a while now, so. Yeah, good for cooking. That's for like clean up too with the plate. So here's my uh, titanium plate. If it will focus, titanium snow plate plate I use for cooking. Definitely need to use the oil with that so it doesn't get stuck because it's not the best for cooking, but it works out okay. Uh, it's pretty lightweight, so that's why I bring it. Uh, Stain is still probably a better option for cooking, but uh, if you're going, if you want to go lightweight, then titanium is the way to go. It's just when you're cooking, when you're frying stuff, and you have to. Uh, for me, like what I do is I, I wear my gloves, and what I do is I constantly like uh, move it around on my stove so that it it doesn't create like hot spots because that's because the thing with titanium is that it doesn't distribute heat that well, so that's why I do to help uh, distribute the weight so it don't like burn all my food and stuff. You see like this burn spot right there? Yeah, that's what happens when you just leave it in one spot the whole time. But yeah. Up next is my snow peak cook it. I keep in the red stuff sack like this. I bought it separately. I forgot what brand it is. I bought it online from a website. He makes custom uh, like uh, lids for like uh, cook sets and stuff. I think it's called Bull Bull Design, something like that. It's not Mini Bull Design. It's not that different company, but uh, nice lid, titanium. Uh, comes with a wooden uh, a little thing to hold it with. Here's the. Uh, so it has a cozy that I made with the reflective stuff. It's just basic the windscreen. I bought the windscreen thing for your car and I just kind of cut it up to fit. Here's the snow peak. I've been using this for years, so it's been used pretty well. It's all these marks, but I try to keep it clean. Uh, here's my uh, stove, weighs less than an ounce, 0.9 ounces. I bought this off of this eBay store online. It's a, a Chinese eBay store, and they sell a bunch of like, uh, like a bunch of random stuff. And this is one of the things that they sell. It caught my eye because it costs fifteen dollars, and it weighs less than an ounce. Works pretty well. I've been using it for about I don't know five, five six trips so far, and it works pretty well. It's titanium, and um, I think there's a little part in here. It's a uh, I focus it. And in here, it's mixed with stainless steel and titanium, so it's pretty light, less than an ounce. I can't find any stove in the market in this weight range and in this price range as well. So this works out pretty well. The MSR stuff and stuff like that, it works, it's pretty good too. But I mean, for the price and for the weight, I mean, you can't beat it. It weighs less than anything in. That I could find in the market, and in this price range, man, it's it's a good find. I'll put a link on my uh, in my description here, so so you could check it out. But man, really like. And also, what I keep in here is this fuel canister. Uh, yeah, fuel canister. Premise basically that I what I do with these is that I reuse them and I refill them. 
I bought this uh like this little uh, adapter that allows you to uh, use those uh those stove canister stuff to uh, to refill it the propane propane canister those little those long ones like that to refill but yeah let me see if I can find one real quick. this one right here so I use kind of like these sort of uh, uh, canisters to refill this okay that's pretty much it for my cook kit uh, next would be oh my, my hammock it's a Hennessy Ultralight. Um, over the years, I've been uh, kind of like modifying it and uh, kind of adding and taking things away from it. But right now, it weighs, I got it down to two pounds, two ounces with everything, including the stakes. I use titanium stakes, the, uh, the tree straps, and I use toggles with this. I have whoopee strings on it. I use, and um, yeah, I've been trying to like drop the, the weight on this for and I finally got it down to two pounds two ounces I got the uh, Kevlar uh, Kevlar straps on it Kevlar, the, the tree straps it weighs before I used to use nylon this is a recent purchase but before I used to use nylon now I use these Kevlar's and they weigh like half the weight so I'd be able to drop like two ounces off of the off of my uh, hammock so that's cool yeah Next, and that includes the rain fly and everything. Rain fly stakes, suspension system, pretty much everything to set it up. Two pounds, two ounces. Uh, what do I have here? I have a hygiene kit. So, nothing too crazy, just a basic hygiene kit. I have a uh, I have it in a, a Cuban fiber stuff sack. I just recently got got into like Cuban fiber, and just starting with like small accessories because it, it's pretty expensive. But here is a kind of just a, ta a little ta towel. It's a microfiber towel. I got it from a like a auto like an auto store. Like, I think like Pet Boys or something. It's meant. It's actually meant for like washing, like drying off cars. But uh, I bought like a package of that and decided to use this. It absorbs a lot of of water really well. Uh, floss. Let's focus. Floss. There it goes. It's focusing. So that's fast. Uh, toothpaste. It's just simple stuff. Just hygiene kit stuff. Chapstick, toothbrush, deodorant. That's it. So I'll go in more detail in another video on each item, but for now I'm just gonna go through it real quick. This video's getting kind of long, but I also brought. So this is my food bag that I carry my food in. It's a Cuban fire bag. Nothing fancy. Uh, the food that I brought is, uh, I ate it also. This is just, just for now, just to kind of show. There's macaroni and cheese in there. Some leftover blueberries and uh, oatmeal. But yeah. I also brought this kind of like this cozy. I use this for uh, storing all my uh, perishables, my frozen food meat stuff. So I had like on the trip I had bacon and I had uh, pepperoni. So this is what I kept in it. I froze the food and I just kind of kept it in here just to keep it uh, uh, cool as long as possible so they don't go bad. And I also carry like, I put like water and stuff like that just to keep it cool sometimes in here. And I use it also as a uh, for uh, the 
dehydrated food and like the uh, freeze dried food. When I put water in, I just keep it in here to keep it warm. So very multi-purpose. Also, you can use this as a like a sit pad to sit on. It's nice, to, it's nice and uh, pretty comfortable to use. And also use it as a like a little uh, to uh, for uh, for your fires just to kind of blow air and to get air into it. So very multi-purpose. Also, this is like a, a sitting pad that I just recently purchased. Uh, new purchase here is I got it from Dutch, Dutchware. He sells like a lot of like hammock gear stuff, and uh, this is like the lightest pad I can find, like a lightest sit pad I can find. So recent purchase, I haven't really used it much. This I didn't bring on Catalina. This is after Catalina I, I got this, but I just want to show you real quick. Less weighs less. I think it like what, weighs like half an ounce or something. So pretty light. Also, I have a bear. This is for my bear bag. I had Catalina there. There's no bears there, but I just hung anyways for like small animals, rodents and stuff, just in case. But yeah, here. It's my bear bag. I think I got this at Z Packs. And then this is some extra line for like big trees. When I don't have enough, uh, if my straps are not long enough for the, for the, for my hammock, the straps doesn't wrap it all around. I use this to kind of help with that, to kind of extend my strap. I also carry like a, uh, pretty much all the time, a lighter. For focus, focus. There it goes. Lighter. And this is a uh, a signaling mirror that I carry. Just in case. You know, something goes wrong. I need to get help. And also, I use it as a just kind of like look at yourself in the in the morning, sort of deal. But yeah. Uh, also, you know, I carry uh, three liters of water. I use the uh, what is it? the smart water bottles. And last but not least, my pack. It's the it's a six moon design pack. Weighs a pound and seven ounce. With the the hip belt pockets have a, a whistle on it. Yeah, it has an aluminum uh, frame. That's about it. I'll go more in detail on like each item eventually. But uh, yeah, that's pretty basically the gear that I carry on the trip. Oh wait, I think I have one more. It's my knife. Uh, more knife. This is a I think it's a, called a clipper. Let's see if I get it to focus for cereals. Some more knife. I have uh, this uh, ranger band around it, just like inner tube that I cut. So I can keep my uh, fire steel on there. This fire steel uh, striker. And uh, my knife. It's a Moro clipper. I've had it for like years. I've been using it, sharpening it. Got kind of like a few nicks here and there on it. But